Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to continue with the lesson HCFN LCM and we are going to study an important point that is greatest common divisor which is called as GCD or HCF that is highest common factor. So this is a very important method which is also important in your higher standards. So pay attention and listen carefully to the concepts whatever I am teaching. So here children, the HCF or GCD of given number is their greatest common divisor or factor. Yes, so they will give you two numbers, three numbers. You have to find out their factors or you can say you have to find out their divisors and then from that the greatest divisor or greatest common or greatest factor is called as a GCD or HCF. Okay. So now we will take few examples. I will take one example and I will show you how to find out its factors and then how to find out its HCF or GCD. Here I am going to make use of the method which we have learned in standard 6 and then we are going to learn the new method of standard 7 okay but now i am just taking one example for example 28 and 42 so these two numbers are there we will find out their hcf by making use of the method of standard 6 okay so here first what is a number 28 so first we'll write here factors of 28. So we all know that 28 is divisible by 1 and 28. Means 28 comes in one table and its own table. Okay. Then we will find other factors between this both. Now after 1 we have 2. Is 28 divisible by 2? Yes, it is divisible because at units place there is 8 and 8 comes in 2 stable. Therefore, 28 is also divisible by 2. So, after 1, next factor is 2. 2 how much are 28? Correct. 2 14 are 28. So, from back side are the other factor will be 14. Now, we will find out other factors between 2 and 14. So, after 2 we have 3. Do we get 28 in 3 stable? No. Then, next 4. Do we have 28 in 4 stable? Yes, 4 7s are 28. So here we will write 4 7s are 28. Next, 4 and 7s between we have two numbers. They are 5. Is 28 divisible by 5? No. And 6, is it divisible by 6? No. So this many are the factors of 28. They are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. Now we will find out factors of 42. What are the factors of 42? First factor will be 1 and last factor will be 42. Next, is it divisible by 2? Surely. 2 how much are? 20 ones are. Next, is it divisible by 3? You can check in the rough work. I'll show you here it says, yeah? 3, 42 and 3. 3 ones are 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 is a 12. Remainder is 0. That means 42 is divisible by 3. So 3 how much are? 3, 14 is a 42. So we will write here 3 14 za. Next 4 stable? No. 5 stable? No. 6 stable? Yes. 6 7 za 42. Yes or no? So we will write here 6 7 za 42. So this many are the factors of 42. So we have got factors of 28 and factors of 42. Now, if you will see, we will write the common factors from this. Huh? So, I will write here common factors. What are the common factors? 
C. 1, 1. So we'll write 1. 2. Next is 2. So we will write 2. Next common divisor is 7. So we'll write 7. And last is 14. So here we have written the common factors of 28 and 42. They are 1, 2, 7 and 14. Now from this, which is the greatest factor? Correct. 14 is the greatest factor. Yes or no? So we can write here HCF of 28 and 42 is 14. Got it? So here we can write that 14 is the HCF of both of them. So this was the method which we used last year to find the HCF or GCD of a given number. Did you understand? So on page number 17, they have given you above prime factor method. They have given you three sums. Out of that, I have solved one. Okay. So now what you will do students, after practice set 11, you are going to write greatest common divisor GCD or highest common factor HCF. This point you will write in your CW. Then you will write this purple lines and then you can write the question here from the textbook they have given you and then the three sums whatever they have given that you will solve. I have solved first sum for you. In the same way you are going to solve remaining two. Okay. Let us now find the HCF of the numbers by using the prime factor method. Okay. So students we have solved practice set 11. And in that, we have learned how to use the prime factor method. Isn't it? Now, let us understand how to find HCF, that is highest common factor, by using prime factor method. So, I will take a question here like, find the HCF of 24 and 32 by the prime factor method. Okay. So here I have taken the question. In this the numbers given to us are 24 and 32. So for students we will find out the prime factors of both of them. Okay. So first number is 24. So I will write it down here. Just pay attention. I will take 24. Solution. Hmm? Now, is 24 divisible by the first prime number that is 2? Yes, it is because at units place we have 4. So, we will write here the first prime factor that is 2. 2, how much are 24? Those who know the tables or those whose tables are by hearted can easily tell that the answer is 12. But those who don't know the tables, please pay attention. But you should buy heart the tables. Huh? So 2, 1's are 2. Nothing is remaining. So we'll directly move to 4. 2, 2's are 4. Got it? Now we will draw one line here. Now we have a number that is 12. Is 12 divisible by 2? Yes. So we will write here 2. How much is 12? Correct, 2, 6 is 12. Again, 2, 3 is 6. And now we are having 3 as a number, which is a prime number and it will come in 3 stable itself. That is 3, 1 is 3. So here we have got 1. That means the factors of 24 are completed. So we will write here 24 equals to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. These are the factors of 24. Next number is 32. Is 32 divisible by 2? Yes. 2, 1's are 2. But we have 3 here. Means 
one is remaining here isn't it that one we will give side to this two it will become 12 so we can write 2 6 are 12 now this 16 again is divisible by 2 so we can write here 2 8 are 16 yes or no next 2 4 8 2 2 4 and last 2 1 2 yes so this are the prime factors of 32 How many twos did we get? One, two, three, four, and five. So we'll write thirty-two is equals to two multiplied by two multiplied by two multiplied by two multiplied by two. Yes. So these are the factors of thirty-two. Now, in among these both factors, these are the factors of twenty-four, and these are the factors of thirty-two. Between this, what is common? So we'll write here that. Ah, huh? see, common. factors what are those students just see and tell me see here there is 2 here we have 2 so 2 2 2 again 2 and 2 so 2 so total 3 twos are common so what is 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 yes or no therefore hcf of 24 and 32 is 8 okay so here also you can write equals to 8 now we will solve one more sum that is find the hcf of 60 12 and 36 but here i will show vertical horizontal method ha huh? vertical method we have seen in the previous sum vertical prime factor method and now i'll show you horizontal whichever you feel easy you can use that method hmm? so sum number 2 we will consider this so here i am taking the first number that is 60 so our start always start from the first prime number hmm? so if we will see then our first prime number is 2 So is 60 divisible by two children? Yes, because at unit place there is zero. Hmm? That means 60 is divisible by two. Now just neglect zero and tell me two how much is six? Two three is six. Yes or no? So side to that three we will write zero. Means it will become 30. 30s are huh 60 so next we will write is equals to 2 into now in this 30 again this 30 is divisible by 2 because at unit place there is 0 so we will write that 2 now 2 how much are this 15 uh, sorry how much are this 30 to 15s are Half no of 30 is 50, so we'll write 215 sir. Now first two prime numbers we'll write as it is. It's 2 into now this 15. Will this 15 be divisible by 2? No. Now it comes in three tables. So what is that? Three fives sir. So here the prime factors of 60 are completed. Yes. Now we will write the prime factors of 12. so you can easily tell it is divisible by 2 so how much are 2 six are so I'll write 2 multiplied by 6 is equals to 2 into now 6 is again divisible by 2 this 6 is divisible by 2 2 how much are 2 three is so i'll write here 2 three is six factors are 2 and 3 understood so Here we have got factors of twelve that are two into two into three. Now we will find out factors of thirty-six. So again, it will be divisible by two. So two eighteen is thirty-six. Now first two we will write as it is two into. Now eighteen is eighteen again divisible by two. So two how much is two nine is. Now first two factors two into two will write as it is. 
Now nine factors we will find out. Nine factors will be correct. Three into three because both are prime numbers. So I'll write as three into three. Got it? So these are the factors of nine. Uh, Thirty six. Huh? Just see here. I'll just write once again. Two into three into three. So here we have got all the factors of all the numbers. Yes. So just I'll write here what was there. Two into. Now we will find out common factors from all three of them. So common factors is equals to. What are the common factors in all three? See, first we have two, two, and two. So common factor will be two. Again, do we have two, two, and two? So I'll underline that. See, yeah, in three of them, all three, two and two, we have again two. Multiply them. Now three we are having. See, three. I will underline it. Three, three, and three. So three. So these are the common factors in all these three numbers. Multiply them to two is a four. Four three is a twelve. So here, therefore, HCF of sixty, twelve, and thirty six is twelve. Got it? So this is how we are going to find. We have found the HCF of the given three numbers in horizontal arrangement.